Good everybody, what's up? Rebecca Hollis here. Uh, is TV dead? Yes and no. Yes, the fact is, you know, internet streaming is higher than ever. Everyone's consuming on mobile and social streams and networks and the old way is, is, is dead and done and dusted and, you know, you are consuming it how you want, when you want, whenever you want on, on your terms. So it's basically, you know, we've, we've seen a, a thing where it's gone from, you know, what, what TV channels and networks are going to tell you you're going to watch to you telling it what you want to see. And I think we're going from a bit of a push to a pull for sort of, mentality but the biggest one I actually think about it which is interesting is I don't think that internet is killing TV I think that the TV is becoming the internet right because it, you're just using that you're not using the screen of the TV to consume the content that it's telling you you are using the screen of the TV as a utility so you can watch the shit you want but bigger on your time how you want whatever so the conversation of, around the business model of how content goes to you is totally changing and different, which I, I fully believe. It's definitely morphing like faster than we've ever seen with every, you know, apps, content. I mean, shit, I, I watch my, my NFL uh, game pass and I, I get it and push it up to the screen and all the rest of it. But what people aren't seeing is they don't realize that I actually think this is the first step to where it's truly going to go, which where you're going to be seeing artificial intelligent uh, customized programming experiences. So instead of being them telling you what time to set on their time and going at the moment where you are pushing what you want to them when you want, it's going to get to the point where, you know, if, if, if Google's and YouTube synced up with Facebook to know what you want, how you like, what your friends like, all the rest of it, you could customize a real-time player of all the content in real time that's going to become its own stream of, of, of TV content as a stream for you. So I actually think this is just the, the start of the change of the entire model where, you know, the conversation I think is just wrong, where they're saying, is TV dead? No, it's not dead. Screens are getting bigger and they're getting doper and they're getting awesome and they're getting augmented reality and they're getting virtual reality. There's all this other 3D shit going on. Great. I, what I'm saying is, I just think that the model of how they're pushing what content they want to you eyes, it's going to go the other way around where you're telling them. And this is the first phase that we're seeing because automatically they've already done this type of mentality around customized curated content in real time of, of uh, uh, interests and stuff that you're stoked on. Wait till that happens to video. They're already doing recommended videos, right? You can already have these kind of playlists and what's on fire and this and that. And that, that's just the start of it. When they start knowing in the last 12 minutes, three of your friends have liked this thing. Maybe you should say it. And that starts popping up automatically. You know, and th that's the kind of the conversation that I think isn't really happening. And it's happening overseas, I believe, but it's not really happening here. So I think the, the game is changing in terms of how, how content is perceived and how it's being consumed. Um, I think that the, I don't think TV is dead. I think the TV traditional model of 1.0 thinking is totally dead. And I think that the screen is now being used as a utility instead of being used as the thing that we consume it through. So I think we're just going through a mind shift right now. I think that the, the media companies who can understand that this is where it's heading and being able to, to create the content for the, the, the communities that is more deeper down the niche that they actually give a shit about in real time and work with the, with the, with the platforms of how they're actually consuming it, which is mobile, which is social, which is sharing, which is streaming, yada, yada, yada. We've all heard that thing. I just think the game is changing and the reality is these big media companies, I don't think they're having the right conversation because the right conversation isn't, you know, how do we make the better content? I think the conversation is how do we even stay relevant when people aren't even buying these subscriptions anymore and they're consuming and streaming, you know? So, so I think the game has changed and content is being consumed differently. I think that TV isn't dead. I think the TV business model of content creation is totally dead. But the TV utility aspect, which allows us to use, um, watch and stream the content we want on our time, is going to get smarter and smarter. So I think the people that are pushing it to you, it seems like they're getting dumber. And the content that we're pushing to it, it seems like it's getting smarter. So do the math and you're going to figure out who's going to be winning. And I guarantee we'll watch back on this shit in like five years when Facebook launches their own TV screens and hardware or Google launches its AI thing linked in with you. Facebook's API to really know what you want like in real time, that's when it's going to get interesting and that's when we'll be looking back at this video being like, damn, those TV guys really got it wrong. See you guys soon. Peace.